Hi guys, it's Hany here. I'm back with another fun cookie decorating tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make Christmas in July peach cookies. For all the recipes and tools, be sure to visit my blog, hanyelas.com. Link is in the description box under the video. And I'm also teaming up with my friend Marlin of Montreal Confections. Marlin made these gorgeous seashell cookies. Check out her tutorial, link is in the description box under the video as well. And now let's get started with today's cookie decorating tutorial. So I'm going to start by making my sand castles. These are royal icing transfers. You can learn more about transfers on my blog, link is in the description box. I loved making sand castles as a kid. It was my favorite thing to do. And so to make these transfers, I am using a template. You can print this template on the blog hanielas.com and then place a piece of acetate sheet or you can also use a wax paper on top of the template. Secure it on the sides with a tape so it's not shifting as you're trying to pipe. And then let the first layer of icing, the bottom part of the castle, crust before adding the top that I'm doing now. And I'm using about 20 second consistency royal icing. Let it crust again and then you can make the windows. Notice the windows are a bit darker, so you can add a touch of brown to your ivory royal icing to make this color. And don't forget to fill in the door and then we're going to let this dry overnight. To decorate, I'm going to also use cookie sand, which is super easy to make. You can use any cookies, even the cookies that you baked. Process these in a food processor and then sift the cookie sand to remove any large bits and then place it into a Ziploc bag and it's ready to use. Now I'm going to brush a thin layer of royal icing onto a dry sand castle. These are rather small, so try not to press on them too much because they will break. And then I'm going to dip it into that cookie sand that I made earlier. And I'm just gonna run my two-in-one tool around the windows, remove the excess cookie sand. And now onto the cookie. So to make my design, I decided to use a cookie that you are all familiar with. This is a candy corn. And candy corn is such a great shape. It can be used for Halloween, it can be used for watermelon, um, even a cake slice would, would work with this and I decided to make a beach theme with it. So I'm using 15 second consistency white icing and I'm going to let this crust well and then we can airbrush. I made myself a really simple cloud airbrush and I'm just using blue airbrush color. I also made a stripe airbrush from cardstock. If you missed that video, I'm going to put a link in the description box so you can check it out. And now we're going to make the ocean. To make the ocean, I'm using three shades of blue royal icing. And I'm using about 15 second consistency. I'm not going to wait for the sections to crust. So there's not gonna be any definition. So you're gonna pipe these right next to each other without any crusting time. Now I'm going to let this dry for about five hours or so. I want the blue section to be very well, at least crusted, because I'm gonna be adding more cookie sand and I don't want the cookie sand to stick onto the blue part. So first I'm going to brush a thin layer of dark ivory royal icing on the bottom. Now we're going to glue the sand castle on there, boom, it's there. It's there. My 
sandcastle. I love it. I love how this sandcastle turned out. And now I'm going to dust it with more cookie sand. And then you can just use a boo-boo stick to make sure that it sticks everywhere and then shake off the excess. Use a food only paint brush to clean up the edges and the blue icing above. And now for the waves, I'm just gonna pipe some white dots. You can also use brushed embroidery design if you wanted to. And to make these dots, I would say use icing that is about 20 to 25 second consistency. You don't wanna use icing that is too thick um, because then you'll have those spikes on the top, nor icing that is too thin that it's going to be flat. And now for that Christmas uh, design I'm just adding some Christmas lights on the castle using black foil icing and then adding some rainbow sprinkles I'm also going to make a palm tree with two tone leaves so pipe two colors two shades two uh, green shades onto a food wrap and then place it into a piping bag make sure that the seam is acting as a border between the two between those two colors that way when you pipe the leaves you'll have one side of the leaf light green and one side will be darker green and once you see that the two colors are coming out we can pipe directly onto the cookie before i pipe though i'm going to just use my marker edible marker that is and draw some guidelines and then i can pipe the leaves to make wavy leaves, I'm using up and down motion. So that's a palm tree. Clean up the edges with a boo-boo stick. If you don't have this tool, it is a must have. It's so useful and you'll love it. Now I'm going to make a gift box. So these are also royal icing transfers, just like the sand castles we made. But instead of an acetate sheet, I'm piping onto the wax paper and I'm going to let these dry and then we can attach them onto the cookie. Now you can remove it from the wax paper and to glue this onto the cookie sand, you need to brush off some of that sand to expose royal icing underneath and then pipe your glue icing on there and place your gift box and then press it down gently. Now to finish this up, I'm just going to add a white ribbon and make a bow at the top. And there you have it. Christmas in July beach cookies. I hope this will help you celebrate Christmas in July if you are celebrating. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to check out the beautiful seashell cookies from my friend Marlin of Montreal Confections. Link is in the description box under the video. And as always, if you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified about my new uploads. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time.